Hey guys, today we're going to be upgrading from this soldering iron. Well, honestly, I kind of did already because you can see here one day I turned it on. Like, it's just, this thing is so gross. And the end just disintegrated. So, yeah, that just comes out. It's a power fist that costs way too much from Princess Auto. So eventually I'll have to return it, but this isn't the main focus of the video. This one is. No, I'm just kidding. This is my replacement one for the time being. It was just a $6 one, also from Princess Auto, which looks decent. I'll probably keep it and just keep it around as a spare. But no, the main attraction, don't fall, is this. I was given this as a gift, like a pre-Christmas thing with other family because of, you know, what's going on right now in the world. So. We'll do a quick unboxing. I'll do solder some basic things with it and we'll see how well it works. So let's get into it. So I already have been in here, but I opened it up to see what the thing was. Here's the quick manual. Look at that. Looks much nicer already. There's the actual iron, which is actually really nice. It feels a little cheap, but also high quality at the same time, if that makes sense. I really want to the stand for it. That's nice. Except that plastic bit. I feel like that might melt over time. But I guess only time will tell. Let's just see. Yeah, it fits in there nice, but like you say, you put it in at an angle. So now let's see what else is going on inside of this box. So, oh, this is nice. Need some more of these grabbing hounds like these things I have. They were okay, but I replaced the ends on them because my old ones got all gross. And I started these on, which I didn't do a very good job on. But that's nice. So, this leave those in there for now. I'm going to assemble it. Nothing left in here. I'm going to throw it in the box. Take it to the shelf. Here's this thing. I honestly don't know what it's for. You can see it on the side of the, on the image. But I guess we'll just have to see. So here's the actual station cell. Looks like this is some flux. Solder tip cleaners. Looks less. It's nice. And already you can feel this cable. It was much nicer than that Princess Auto one. So now we have some other tips, all sorts of kinds. This one's like a blade type of thing. So it's pretty nice. Let's put this on the ground. We'll go through the manual. We'll assemble it now. So it goes tipped over there. And plug this into there. But it wants to go in. Yeah, it's kind of weird, obviously, the way it shoots up so far. Is it supposed to be like that? Yeah, I don't know what this is for. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. I'm just gonna put these on. Just 
tighten this one up now. Okay, now that'll hold something. Let's see. Just... Yeah, that, that'll work. It'll be harder for holding together two small wires if I want to solder those. Let's see what it does. So obviously, you have to turn the on switch. Oh, wow, that heats up fast. Oh, no, I just want to plug it. It still has this bit on it. It's actually hot. Oh, it is. Wow. Oh, that's really hot. Okay, let's turn it on again. Okay, so it's going up to 200 degrees to reach that. Wow. Does it seriously get that hot that fast? Okay, so this is me editing, and I saw my other soldering clips were just awful. So I decided I'd just solder this display onto this cartridge board thing. An old Radio Shack one. I feel kind of bad doing that, but I have a few of them and I don't think they're really too valuable. So I'll just solder this on and I'll add a potentiometer or a control. So yeah, it's just a 10k potentiometer. Don't know how well you can see that. Actually prop potentiometer under here so it doesn't fall over. So get my found use thing, soldering holder. It has this hard drive magnet on it because when I was using it, it just kept tipping over. It was meant to be screwed to the side of the soldering iron itself, but I didn't like that. That's better, but still not really good. Now, I have this potentiometer down here. Okay, so now we'll add this switch. Kind of cut at it a bit to make it better size, but I couldn't get it to fit through the hole still, so we'll just use this wire. Okay, so now you can, oh, I just messed it up. There, you can see it works. Just the contrast, turn off the backlight. Just out this quick code just to test it. There's the bottom, not very nice, but there it is. So yeah, I'm actually, I'm really happy with that soldering iron. So the problem was when it wasn't working was um, I had just had two grounds coming into it. I wired it up wrong looking at the bottom. So I think I got confused when I was flipping it around. So I just put two grounds instead of ground and power. So yeah, works great. The way I actually found out the problem was by using this different Arduino and display and just making the exact same thing happen on this little breadboard. But I wanted something more permanent. So yeah, it was also, I could have done this. I was gonna bring the camera. So I would have also printed a case for it. You can see now a 3D printer, but the extruder motor got burned up because it was like put together faulty from the factory so hopefully I'll get a new motor for it. You see that's why that stuff's like burnt on. I can't remember exactly what happened but it was broken so I did get a benchy boat printed out and it looks really good. So yeah hopefully videos about this coming soon.
So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed having a look at the soldering iron, which is really good. And seeing me build this, which will probably just be a separate video building this because I have so much footage of me making it and getting angry at it. So see you in 2021, possibly one more video coming out this year, but I, d I doubt it.